was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. <laughs> So hello and welcome to today's video and today we're on F1 2016 and today I'm going to be showcasing this helmet cam um, and just a disclaimer before the video starts that this is an ed is done in editing I will leave a link in the description to the settings that you can actually currently see on screen um, so you can use them in your game as well because this is the closest you will get to how an F1 driver sees the track um, and also leave a link to the image that I have used to, as an overlay to make this video so without any further ado let's get into the start of the race so no formation lap uh, let's see how the start goes with Lewis Hamilton from the back in Germany 25% race and we get a decent start we jump the Sauber of Ericsson um, now we're going to come into turn 1, we're going to play it a bit cautious because I've never done this before get quite close to Grosjean but we get away with it um, so now we're just going to come down into turn 2 I believe uh, we looked for going on Verline there but we went against it but now we're just going to take him around the outside trying not to hit the back of that Renault and now we're going to put it on the outside of the Renault getting very close to his rear wheel there around the outside I think we might have a go on this Sauber in the braking zone yes we will braking very late closing up a lot on Alonso and also just to say we are on expert AI just to make it easier for me coming from the back in a 25% race also with driving line on because I don't know the braking points so well I don't know the braking points in cockpit cam so that was a pretty shit corner actually and now for the next section, I think we're going to have a look at Alonso. And we're going to stay behind for this corner in the dirty air. That does compromise us a little bit, but we seem to get a good exit. Not good enough. We're going to go for a dive. We can't quite make it. Alonso closes the door, but now we're just going to get him on the exit. Because expert AI <coughs> don't seem to be the fastest on exit of corners. So now we're looking at Gutierrez, but we're not going to go for a move down the inside there. That would be stupid of us. So now we're just going to look at one into turn one, I think. Well, we don't know, but yes, we did make the move, and now we're looking at Hulkenberg. Are you going to get him in the braking zone from very far back? And I think we're going to make the move, but we're going to make it stick, though. We make contact with Hulkenberg, we, we throw a hand up in fury, but I think we made the move stick. So now looking, the mirror's getting all fiddled up and stuff. Um, now I'm going to play, and now we're just going to. Um, focus on getting past Kthea as fast as we can through the middle sector we run a bit wide, I'd have liked to be closer to that curve but never mind so now we just got to pay attention to getting past Kthea I think and in this first stint I want to make as many places as I can while the field is still punched up, we don't quite get Kthea there, are we going to do what we did on Alonso? Yes we are and now we've got Alonso's teammate Button up next we're we going to make an all very audacious move that was very audacious down the inside into the last corner and Butters pulled in behind us, we made it stick that is incredible it's coming into turn one we're gonna lose the rear end but now we're focusing on Bottas coming into the braking zone we get very close, have to take avoiding action we broke so much later so now we're gonna go through this section of the track so now we're gonna go past Bottas on the outside and we're going to go three wide, coming into the chicane, three wide. We're going to break extremely late, almost hitting the back of Massa. Oh no. Um, and I fell a flick spin. Um, now we can watch the amazing flashbacks. And now I'm magically out of thin air, rejoin the track. Um, so now we're just going to go for the high speed section. And I can't actually quite see what place we're in. I believe we're in, we're going to be in 18th. We were in 11th. So in that whole instant, we dropped 7 places. Which is just terrible. But now we've cut forward to lap 7. Where we've pit for the prime tyres. That was a pretty average 2.5 seconds. Or 2.4 seconds stop. Pretty average. And McLaren of Alonso is still out in front of us. So let's carry on. So going down. So we're just going to stay on board I think for the um, 
first lap, out lap, that's what they're called. On the straight, I don't think we're going to make a move on Alonso here. I think we're just going to sit behind him for a while. We put it into a rich mix there, you see in the bottom right. Um, and of course, very little visibility, but we're closing so much on Alonso. Oh my. Now, I think we're going to make the move, but can we make it stick? Yes, we made it stick before the exit of the corner. That was amazing. Expert AI, of course, don't really fight back. As we can see, don't fight back too hard, but... And we do our best. Third. Now we've just got to focus on Kafia again. So, during this section, um, we just. I'm not sure actually. No, fuck this one. I'm going to leave that editing out. So, so now we're just going to close up on Kafia, getting right close to his rear end. We're going to go through the section, we're not going to do a move that we did on button on him and we're actually going to play it safe this time um, I believe we're going to go down the inside into turn 1 this is going to be very audacious on a man like Fiat but it's alright he only crashes on the first lap so now we're looking at button again I think we're going to just get past him in the braking zone no button on cold tyres we could not pass but I'm sure with the Honda to Mercedes deficit I'm sure and rich mix we're going to get past him down the straight despite getting a bad exit there in his slipstream DRS open, yeah, we're going to pass him. That's pretty much. Oh, oh no, oh no! Button did it for stop, and he closed the gap. Oh no! Now we're in the wrong gear. Get going. We're going to have to watch that one back, I think. So let's watch it back, and we go to the. We go into the outside, but Button closes the door, and we try to then do a dummy on him. We tried to do Verstappen's teammate Ricardo. And we just hit his rear right tyre and then we get stuck on it. So coming into the braking zone, I finally pull off him. And then he just slows it down even more. So I just hit him again. A secondary hit. So, as you see, I actually lock my rears as well as front. And then um, Gutierrez was about to jump us there. And I believe I actually flashback this because it was kind of ridiculous what happened. You can see from a normal point of view how that looked. I tried to do it with Ricardo because he closed the door, but it failed. Not wanting to make too big of a move. Um, and yeah, didn't end out too well for either of us, I don't think. So now we've got Palmer up next. After getting past Button, and we're going to pass three of them. Are we? Are we? Yes, we are. Using up all of the road there, leaving the signs with no second chances. And I think we're going to have to have an instant replay of that, guys. So let's watch this. We've already got past that Ferrari of Raikkonen on the right. And now we're going past um, Palmer Magnussen. And now into the braking zone right at the apex. We take it off sides as well. So in one straight that is four cars dealt with. Very efficient there indeed. So now we're coming up behind Perez in, on uh, lap 14 or 13 I believe this is. Um, and we're closing Royce up to him. We've got a very good exit off the last corner. Are we going to have a look at the tail one? I don't think we're close enough. No, we're not. But we're definitely going to be close enough here. Open DRS. Are we going to put... Come on. Mercedes against... Yes. Mercedes against Mercedes. That's a tight battle. And Perez has kept it alongside. He's going to keep up the inside. No, he's going to back out. He's going to be safe. So now we're going to be looking at Bottas next, I think. But... No. Is that Perez coming back? Perez is coming back. Oh my. So we had to go defensive at the last second there. Not in the braking zone, but now. Oh, no. And then I see Perez. He's come back us in the braking zone as well. I saw his will. And that turned out the corner and now he's alongside. But I think we're going to hold this around the outside. No. Oh, we went off the track. Never mind. We could, we'll just give him a go for this next section. Just need to keep it neat. Kept it very neat through there. Dirty air is affecting us though quite badly through this high speed section. As you can see, we're raw, missing the apex, that is not ideal. But now we're going to go down to further gear for this section. We're going to get very close to the back of him. Are we going to do what we did on Alonso? Yes, we are. We went all four wheels off the track, but you know what? I think I'm quite happy with that. I've taken round the outside in the penultimate corner. For the final corner, we confirm the position. So now we're coming through to lap 16. That was a very good move. Um, we've gone off the track, no! 
Oversteer, we've done an hour of, we've done an hour of guys. Oh my. So now you can see we've got back past Perez and now we're looking at the back of Bottas again. He's making a move on Massa. We close up a lot while these two battle and we can see Massa on our left there. And we're going to get in Massa Slipstream, we're going to have DRS. And we're going to go to the left, to the right, where are we going to go? We're still not alongside a matter. But we're going to go to the right, we're going to go three wide into the braking zone, and I think I broke a bit late. We took a terrible angle in there, and for whatever reason we've been hit. That was a terrible angle though. Let's just watch the replay for this. So you see us in massive slipstream, Williams are very fast in a straight line. See Bottas go defensive, we go completely far down the inside. And I turn him way too late, I did a Rosberg, and then we just get stuck in each other's cars and we end up heading towards the barrier. Um, and unfortunately I lost the footage for the last part of the race, so now you're going to have to look at this amazing shot of the Mercedes there, uh, of Nico Rosberg. And I'd just like to um, say, um, if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this on F1 2016, and Forza Horizon 3. I'm not forgetting, I have a new Forza Horizon 3 series coming out soon. Uh, you have to subscribe and stay tuned to find out what it is. So, apart from that, as I just said, um, please give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want more. And I'd just like to say thank you for watching and goodbye.